Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. If there's anything I like, it's stuff that's super, it's ping pong, and it's trick shots. So, why not a better time than to check out Super Ping Pong Trick Shot? Say that three times fast. Super Ping Pong Trick Shot, Super Ping Pong Trick Shot, Super Ping Pong Trick Shot. All right, on the Nintendo Switch, it's a game that sounds exactly like it is. You control ping pongs and you do trick shots with them. Let's go ahead and check it out today. See if it's worth playing on the Nintendo Switch. So Super Ping Pong Trick Shot is basically a puzzler set across 80 different levels. 80! Where you need to strategically maneuver a ping pong ball into a designated cup. The visuals let's be honest, are incredibly bland and boring. In fact, it's so bare bones and lacking on a visual perspective that you might initially think this game is shovelware and that it's not worth of, worth looking into. And it's like, damn, this is bottom of the barrel stuff. But I would argue the point that Super Ping Pong Trick Shot is actually quite fun once you get the whole mechanics behind the game down. Now, there is a variety of stuff that you can do in and the physics actually aren't too bad when it comes to this game. It took me a while to figure it out, but you're able to set your trajectory of the ball, properly time your power on the sliding power ball, and basically try to land it in the cup. Every level in the game is made up of a group of floating platforms and you can even rotate the camera around to make sure you get the best angle possible and even discover hidden obstacles that might not show up in the first initial angle. There's even touch and motion controls available in this game. There's three modes. There's a challenge mode which as I mentioned is made up of the 80 levels that can be played in any order you wish. And each level has a variety of submissions. There's like three submissions such as hit this ball and this thing, do it in a certain amount of time, things like that. So there is a little bit of achievement and goals and challenges that you can do for each level. That's always nice when they add little things into games like that. This score attack, which like it says, is to score as many points as you can. The more balls you get in, the better higher score you get. And there's even a versus mode in this game where you can compete against a second player to see who can make the most balls and stuff. So. Super Ping Pong Trick Shot does offer 80 levels. That's a huge amount of content for such a simple looking game. And if you're into this kind of like weird stuff where there's physics and challenges and stuff, this might whet your appetite. It's surprisingly quite a robust game for as simple as it looks. And it did kill quite a amount of time. The fact that it uses touchscreen is actually pretty nice as well. And it works really good as I mentioned. In fact, I would venture to say the more that you play Super Ping Pong Trick Shot, the more you actually enjoy it. It surprised me. I couldn't help but keep trying. If I missed a shot, I would keep trying over and over and over. And it actually feels good inside. It made me feel good inside when I finally put the ball in the cup. And you're actually able to make the shots any way you want. That's why it's a trick shot. There's no, I guess, linear path or correct way to do any shot. You can experiment, move the screen around, and just try to do your best. And I think that's really fun in any fun party setting like this you can actually sit down and take turns making the shots see who could do it the best so you can get the better score and stuff so i think super ping pong trick shot leaves a lot you know to be discovered as far as a game that might not initially look good it's like it's a case of don't judge a book by its cover i had a lot of fun with super ping pong trick shot which is why i think i could personally recommend it it might be your cup of tea it's not a bad game it looks ugly but it plays fun and it has a variety of different gameplay mechanics that not too many games on the switch have it has a good amount of strategy and trial and error with the user you're only as good as you are good when it comes to making these trick shots and stuff and i thought super ping pong trick shot was a load of fun and worth checking out and while well, guys that's it for today's review if you're new to the channel please subscribe Comment below, hit that like button. I'll see you soon.